We need to put on some other clothes. Cold out here. No arc, poet. Done with that game for a while. Too much dino taming time. Resonance is a divine gift from the Empyrean that gives us the ability to tether Malachim. We orderly stand on the front lines as bulwark to protect the people from demons. Traitors are our superiors, but also have civil and economic duties and lead religious services. It's not a position for the faint-hearted. Anime is all about the clothes. This is true. Amber Fragment. Contains Amber. Basic Enhancement Material. Got it. Nope. I'll be playing Conan. Poet. No arc. Tarnished Silver Coin. Wonderful place to live. Having exorcists around makes it really safe. I wouldn't complain if it were a bit warmer, though. Yeah, me neither. Eggs are freezing off. Spirits are drinks for grown-ups and fuel for the soul. Every place makes them in their own way, but drink them and you're drunk. That's the rule. Here you go. Let's get in there and get it. Hello, drunkards. The hell with order and rules. Curse those stone-hearted exorcists. Tell me, is a life without drink really a life worth living? You said it. I almost hope I come down with the demon blight so I can drink their blood instead. All right, now we're talking. Light some people up here. You don't have to worry about getting attacked by demons while you're here in Helavis. This Hell town is under the protection of the Abbey Praetor, Lady Teresa Linares. She keeps us all safe. Wow, she must really be something else. She is. She's lauded as the frozen queen of the exorcists. Oh. She's as cool as ice and as pure and dazzling as freshly fallen snow. She's just the white knight Helavis needs. Our town is as beautiful and pristine as it is because we have Lady Teresa here oh, with us. Oh, thank you, Lady Teresa. Anyone who disturbs her order, whether human or demon, will be frozen by her wrath, soul and all. Sounds just like an exorcist. The way she glares at the filthy. Oh, if only she would look oh, at me like that. I bet. With those ice cold eyes. Teresa, my love. Oh, yeah. If she lets idiots like him run around loose. And I'm sure she's not as infallible as he thinks she is. All right. Just, uh, just got tired of art. Oh, it. Just got tired of it. Oh, a fragment. Hello, little kitty. Can I pet you? Meow, 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 meow. The men at that table, they're saying some terrible things. I'm going to tell the Abbey about them. Heavens are made to filter out the garbage of society. Hey! Stop that. Hmm. Got it. All it was? Okay. Out of the tab. This ooh, hey, here he is. Found a real good one. The blade was badly rusted, but once I polished it up, it turned out to have a fine edge. Nice. I can scarcely believe something of that quality was languishing in my bargain bin. You've taught me quite a lesson. The weapon is yours as payment. Aha. Thanks. So you'll help us out? Of course. How did your errand fare? I see. So we're hunting a reptilian demon called Dial, are we? Yes, we'll we are. We'll check out his hometown first. Have fun, you kids! You aren't coming along? I'm afraid I've got bigger fish to fry at the moment. That little matter of tracking down my betrayer. Oh. Besides, if I stick around, I'm not so sure I wouldn't wind up as someone's midnight snack. You would. My palate has standards. Uh, High standards. You don't All meet them. All the more them. reason to skedaddle! Can I sell stuff to this guy? That lance the dressed gentleman sure has an eye for blades. Some of the older items here are made from the same materials as exorcist equipment. Okay. Sell that blade. Um, sturdy belt. 
So is he part of my team now? Comfrey is. I'll sell one of them. I don't know if I use those for something. Not worth much except in quantity. Alright, Storm. Alright, bye. Oh, we'll be glad to see ya. I think we're gonna do some Stardew Valley and Overwatch tonight, so. All these amber blades are the same. Firing. Amber boots, do I have those yet? Time you can't use items reduced. Okay. Shopping, pal. What's in here? Oh, it's like a like a den. Boy, oh, it's cold out there, eh? Get over to the stove. Fancy a bowl of soup? Don't be shy now. The Abby teaches us to help each other out, right? I suppose. Welcome. Cold out there, isn't it? Come on in and rest up a while, won't you? I guess. Oh. Practicing. That was a good session, if I do say so myself. Tomorrow's drill will be even faster. I thought he was being a crazy demon again, but come to think of it, this is just him being him. Dun, 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 dun. Luna's smile. Is that? Oh no, I just stayed. Thanks. Uh, hello, peoples. Today's the day. I'm going to talk to her, but I just need to talk to her normally, casually. Why does that have to be so hard? Oh, you're making it that way. Shipping Guild is under the wing of the Abbey. They've turned the city into the greatest trading hub in the north. Elevice has become almost shamefully rich these past few years. I know what you mean. Is it just me, or is the guild taking more than their fair share? Aye, but I'm a small-time trader, so it could be just be jealousy speaking. This is my room that I stayed in? Ooh, look what I found. Okay. Days seeing a Malik is as common as seeing a cat or a dog, but it was sure an eye opener when they first started appearing three years ago. Where do you suppose they come from? They seem to be alive, but they don't answer if you call to them. They're a real mystery, eh? This is true. The Abbey provides the people with special Malik Forge weapons that work against demons. I don't stand much chance against those monsters, but I'll gladly do what I can to keep everyone safe. Look, a yak. Hey, Velvet, here's a fun fact. Yak tail hair is considered to be among the highest quality materials for a helmet's plume. Wow, hmm. really? Also, I don't care. That too. At my house, we had this helmet. It was an incredible piece, covered with yak tail hair. The huh. talk of the town. 
House Rangetsu has two treasures going for it, people would say. The Helm of Yak and Storm Howl. They must not have thought very highly of the rest of you. Right? Why do you say that? Although, yeah. I guess I can think of a reason or two. Oh well, it's nothing a demon like me has to worry about. Right -o. Hey, Yaki. Oh. The Abbey isn't letting people go further north than the Fali's Ruins checkpoint on the Figal ice caps. If you're not going through, you're wasting your time. Usually, of us are villages in the frozen west. I warn you now, though, they aren't places good hearted folk should be visiting. Gotcha. Head to Dal's home village. Which would be. Oh, hello, sir. Did you hear? That navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned into a demon. Mm. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates, then ran off. Demon Blight? In Helavis? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing Hell with it. Ease. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Oh, yeah, that's harsh. You're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not human, huh? Very unfair to say. They call us not human. Mm -hmm. What about your business, Chum? Hello. This cold is beyond ordinary. Yeah. Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. Yeah. It's that, what do they call it again? Uh... Global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. The Abbey says the world's getting colder. Uh -huh. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day. Yeah. Uh, who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him. Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. Could be with those glasses. Oh, can't see. Those, those little, little sporty glasses. Uh, there's another person that I was missed talking to. Oh, here we go. Let Hello. me get this straight, Alpha Area. You want to form an alliance with my Gamma area to bring down the Betas? What? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed. If your Alpha forces and my Gamma forces work together, Beta area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an alliance What's going on here? area. Excellent. We shall be victorious in this year's Helavi's Grand Snowball Fight. Oh. Let us toast to our victory. This isn't a snowball fight. It's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools, I was the one who engineered their alliance. Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full-scale assault to destroy the other. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. It's getting intense. It's really fight dirty. All's fair in snow and war. Yeah, apparently. Okay, we need to find whatever this city place is. Where this guy stayed at. Car goes all aboard. Abby's really clamped down with her inspections ever since the disaster. Okay. So do I need to get back out of here to go to that town where that guy was? Oh, somebody down there that can be talked to. Has something interesting to say. Oh, I tried to 
meet you earlier. You wouldn't let me. What a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports flamestone and sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Mm. Have you heard of flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Uh. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives. Sounds dangerous. It Sounds is dangerous, fiery. But it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too. With pirates and bandits in ever increasing numbers. Uh. On the bright side, with the higher demand for flamestone, Helloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. Oh. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. This guy's very keen on this keelhauling. A keelhaul to you, sir. And your kind. Keelhaul the hell out of everyone. to sneak back out, huh? Ooh. Head to that town. Oh, look, these things come back. Hello? I don't know what the comfrey does. If I use it later on or what? we go oh they blocked the front door blocking everyone out apparently whoa quiet beast couldn't get the others we fight now let's do this oh Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. Apple Jills, healing arts, grabbing KO characters, powers, life bottles, or special arts like resurrection. Can battle any KO characters will automatically revive with one HP. Number of souls, health effects, a variety of things. The more souls a character has, the more damage enemies will deal. The greater the chances enemies will inflict status effects. Souls may appear after a successful quick step or when a character is KO'd. LT, RT, the main battle menu will change the active character. During battle, you can press LB to change characters immediately. Got it. Why don't I just let them fight on their own? I will do my own fighting. The world will be a better place for it. Hello? You both want to be my friends? Let's do it. Let's do it. Same time. Get wrecked! Ow! Come on, really? Right, pig hammer. Go grab these things. This is the correct way to go, apparently. Hi! Let's fight, buggy! Ooh, lots of you. Ow. 
Eh, well, okay. Then, let's move on. Let us. There's some crap over here I need to gather real quick. Slide! Now he's gotta come back. It's hurtful. Come on, Tubby. Let's do this. You better be ready. Bye. You got destroyed. You I mean victory was pretty much mine. Wiped them. I don't know what you were doing, but thanks for your help. I suppose. Let's do it. Always ready to fight. Ow. Look out. Burn in a fire, son. Come on, really? I see a village. Let's go ask around. Which village? Oh, that one. I was gonna go down there. Kind of interesting, but fine. Have it your way. Oh wait. Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. That's true. Doesn't bother me either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. Ah. Hey there. Sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. Oh, too late. So Already still offended. Feelings Triggered. like shame. Then. Wait. You don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. Oh. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that, at least. Yes. If you say so. I get my eyeglasses. Hey! Ah! Hello? Thank goodness I was here. But any further attacks and... An exorcist? Was that Dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Right. Are you crying? It's just... Everything that's going on. Oh. Demons run rampant in the Outlands. And yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. They don't give a shit. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once. And the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know. But it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. <laughs> Their perfect logic. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My oh. name is Eleanor Hume. I am a praetor patrolling for the <sighs> Abbey. What is your business here? Looking for somebody. Calm down. Kill you. We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helavis. See my glasses? The shipping guild incident. Yes. Serious business. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. I'm not gonna wait for you. I'll do it myself. Did the exorcist lady go away? Oh. Yeah, she's gone. Oh, Why was it to do rockin' sandals? Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine, you can tell me. I'll keep it a secret, I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. Mm, thank you. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, all right? Uh, got it. That's a promise. A cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? Uh. Hmm. This is actually rather good. 
Oh, she remembers the apple. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Huh? Damn it. Lost our ability to we taste. We learned what we need to. Let's look for that cave. Don't tell anybody about the lizard demon in the cave. I think you promise with the apples on top, okay? When we go to hell of this, we can tell anyone we're from this village or they'll persecute us. Oh, why is this yak talking? That's one fine yak you've got there. What an adorable face. <laughs> you might not want to lean in too close. Yeah? Why? Nah. <laughs> you just got yak, bruh. That, that is nasty. That's why. Yaks ruminate the food they eat while they digest it. Their burps are one of the foulest things you'll ever smell. <laughs> Same as cows and goats. Everyone who's raised livestock knows that. Uh -huh. I think that point's been driven home. That's a smell I never want to ruminate on myself. Those used to sell sulfur taken from the cave up north. Now traders lead to hell of this instead. So we don't have much industry anymore. What I can really do is make charcoal and raise yaks. And give me chests. Thank you. Into oh, somebody's little home for sleeping. I don't really need to sleep though. Pick the coins. Thank you. Oh, you selling stuff? I'll be back. Checking things out right now. Gathering up all that I can. Hello, peoples. I planned out a tar mining operation in the hollow with a buddy of mine. Worked on it for eight years. Well, Lady Teresa nixed that good. That was unnecessary, and that was that. Who is the Abbey to be buttoning in on a free man's affairs? It's a disgrace. I know it's frustrating, but it's better to keep quiet. You know how they are about order and all. That's what these people gotta say. That Dow's a wretch of a son, though. He ran off to a to make a fortune trading, and what did he end up? A murderer. Still, his poor old man is convinced it's just a matter of time before he comes back. Okay, I've given up on him. But this village, we built it with our own sweat. I won't give it to the Abbey no matter what they say. Yeah, Eleanor is a bit of an odd exorcist. We're supposed to... We're opposed to the Abbey here, and yet she comes and asks us all these super serious questions. She doesn't seem like a bad person, but she won't live long if she doesn't smarten up. Hey. Welcome, my father was a smith, and I sell things he left behind. Good for you. I sell shit I find. <laughs>